So it is time to update the actual video on how to create the automation in a different way. You can use the auto hotkey script as I already talked about. Many of you still have problems. If you want something a bit more like out of the box, record something, repeat it, well, the solution is here for you. There's a program called Tiny Task. Let me just go ahead and first show the web page. Go ahead to tinytask.net and just simply download this program. Whenever you download that program, you will open up a small program looking just like this. It is maximized. It only has a few buttons. It's called Open, Save, Record, Play, create an exit file from it. And on preferences, go ahead right now and do yourself a favor and click the continuous playback right now. When you've done that, you're basically set. We can go ahead and pay attention to some shortcuts. There are here on recording, control, shift, alt, and R. And for playback, control, shift, alt, and P. Now, not to make it confusing, you do control, shift, alt, plus R to start recording. And you do control, shift, alt, plus R again to stop recording. The same shortcut for the same thing, start, stop recording. Okay, you got it. When you're gonna play back, you just press Control Shift Alt P and remember to have your window in focus in Windows, meaning the game itself. So whenever you're running the macro, it should look something like this. So you have a focus of the game right here. It should be so you can use your mouth just like that. And whenever you want to go outside the window, you have to press escape and then you can pull out your cursor. Now, I only tried this in window mode in Elden Ring. I don't really think automation works that well with full screen mode, so you have to run it in a window mode. In order to do that, go into Elden Ring, press escape, do, enter systems. Under the screen window here, you can enter screen mode window and choose whatever minimum resolution you think is okay. I recommend, you know, just low one as a 1600 times 900. It is an uh, aspect ratio to my screen, so it works for me. You can also go ahead and use another one. You can see you can choose different versions, but you know, I'm gonna stick with this for now. Also, you need to make sure you know where your key bindings is. It's not important what your key binding is right now, it's just important you know where they are. So the normal walk forward, backwards, moving left and right, you should know where they are. You should know where to fire your weapon. So that's the actual attack. Uh, that will be the skill minus Q. Yours can be others, right? Okay, and the next thing you also need to know is to know how to move your camera. Because the tiny task program doesn't work that well with the mouse. I tried it and it kind of lags in different ways. That's not perfect. So I have to use the in-game camera rotational uh, controls on your keyboard. I've set mine to these right here. You can see what they mean. So let me give you an example. So what you're gonna do right now is go into Elden Ring and just, you know, leave your mouse. Go to your keyboard. So I'm pressing J, K, L, and I, okay? J, left, K down, I right, I up, W forward, S backwards, A left, D right. So that's really what you need to do. Also, you need to be able to access the, the grace here. Um, and you can do that by pressing your shortcut keys for that. Go into system one more time and just go to key bindings. <clears throat> I got mine set to a G. Uh, I think that is actually for the map, yes. So you open the map basically and you press G I'm just going to the game, press G, and then it is already set for F, the closest sites of grace, F, press F, and then the first one is going to be selected as where you are, also see Palace Approach Ledge Road, Palace Approach Ledge Road, and just press uh, <laughs> E once, and E one more time, and whenever that is done, you are ready to try out your so by the keyboard only you're running you're turning do whatever you want you're firing off your skill i press q and that's really what you have to practice just to get it down in your fingers now 
you need to, you do not need to write you do not need to write any code for this. You just need to be able to record this macro. So what I recommend you doing is you start recording the macro from when you zone and enter the same you know play area one more time, and then you just do your thing. So as I talked about, Control Alt Shift and R to start the recording. Pay attention to the window over here. The record is going to get red whenever it's recording. You have to be into the game right now. So Control Shift Alt R. It is red. So what I do now is I press G, F, E, and E. I'm just doing the doing it as I talk. You know, so might be a few things. So now just walk using the keyboard. Don't use the mouse. So let me see. Pressing J, holding W N. Positioning myself, maybe a bit more there. Pressing Q, using the skill. I'm waiting a bit, just a bit. Everything is killed. Control, Shift, Alt, R, and the recording is done. Now you can just go back and see <clears throat> under your pref. Remember, you have to continuous placeback uh, checked. That means whenever your uh, your recorded play right now is being repeated, it is repeating. In a loop. So go ahead and press Control Alt, uh, sorry, Control Shift Alt P, and hands off. And now we we'll replace something, right? So what it did in the start was because I did something a bit clumpy, but I need to get it right. But you will see the point right now. I have no hands on it, and it will begin to run and do its thing. This is me playing. It is running smoothly, doing exactly the same thing every time that I do. It's gonna fire off the macro, wait a bit as we talked about, and it should in theory just do whatever I did. <laughs> and you know, I was a bit clumpy, but you know, you get the point, you will practice it better than I did. It's gonna repeat itself, and now you have yourself an auto farm using the program called Tiny Task. So it is probably a bit easier for you to do this compared to any other thing. Now this is also pretty good for you if you want to farm other places. You can basically choose whatever place you would like, record whatever you're doing exactly the same way every time. And if you are positioned correctly, well, it will work. What is important for you to understand here is you cannot use the mouse. So something that is technical and tricky that can give you some essential advantage at some point by completing some sort of sub quest that is repeatable. You need to be able to do it with the keyboard. If you find a way to use the mouse, it is good. But for now, I'm just going to stick to the easy small tasks. All right. So I guess for this video, this is the way it is. Links, links, blah. links is in the description below for signing task. That's it, really. See you again online.